Hello, my YouTube friends. In my future video, I will show you how we covered two columns on our patio with stones and accent tile. Today, I would like to explain to you or share with you what we're going to do with this central column, which is the widest one. On this column, we will have uh, two columns of uh, glass tile instead of one. And then we will cover the rest of the surface with uh, the same stone that we covered our kitchen walls. And we will have a wall fountain. The water will be coming from the upper end of the column. And it will be flowing along that wall. And here at the bottom of the column we will have a small pond. And this pond will be covered with iridescent tiles. And today we have to choose which tile to use. I ordered samples from a company and I will show these tiles to the members of my family to choose the one that we will be using. I ordered a few samples and I will look at them under the water at my inside house pool. First I will check this sample. This is how it looks, the surface on the air. Now I will put it inside the water and try to uh, videotape how it looks under the water. So it's much brighter and more sparkling under the water. My next sample is that one. This is the name of this sample. This is the surface on the air and now under the water. We also ordered two tiles on the black side of the color. On the air, this is on the air, under the water. Next sample on the air under the water. To me, it's too black. This variety on the air, very blue, light blue under the water. And the last sample. On the air under the water and it turns out to be the favorite of my family so everyone chose this one the family reached the consensus I will now order these iridescent tiles We need to dig more, even the bottom of this pond, use the cement to do the walls and the bottom and many more things. Stay tuned to see how we will handle all these tasks and finish our pool with the fountain.